Hi guys, in this video tutorial we're going to talk about Mask Modeler. The new version changed quite a bit, so let's have a look. Create a solid, make it 3D and draw a mask. Duplicate the layer and move forward a new one along Z axis. Now, By showing masks you will only see the masks and the other layers will become invisible. That makes the workflow much more comfortable and fast. Okay, so select both layers and create surface. As you can see, working with this tool has become simple and clear. Now you can control the distance of the masks by simply moving them in space. We can also add a third mask by duplicating the second and moving it back. Oops, I've broken the sequence when I moved the second one. Okay, let's fix that. All right, just be careful with that. Now it's all right. You can also edit the shape of the mask, but the number of vertices in all masks should be the same. I also left the old version, just in case. So now just change new to Legacy, create masks, select them, set the depth size and create surface. Well done. That's all. We can now practice a little. So create a new composition and import images. Scale it down and find camera position. Okay, select both layers and create projection. Make three copies. Double click projection three and create a ground plane using helper grid properties. This is a stencil layer so you can disable it. But first let's create the front rock. Generate position and create a plane on it. Do it again and make another plane. Now select the plane you've created first and draw a mask along the contour of the rock. Now copy the mask and paste it on the second plane. Adjust the mask so that it comes out of the frame. Like so. Now select both planes and open Mask Modeler. Mark Show Mask to see them. Then create surface. Cool. Now you can remove the planes. Move the rock model to projection scene 1. Okay, so now we have the first one. Now let's move on to the second one. As you know, we must first generate position. Let's start from afar. Create a plane, reposition anchor point. This isn't necessary, but helps you understand it better. Generate another position and create a plane. 
and do it again. And one more. Now reposition anchor points. Reduce the scale. Okay, the planes are right where we need them. Now let's draw some masks now. As you know, the number of vertices must be the same in all masks. So therefore, let's start from the place where we need the largest number of vertices to mask the outline of the mountains. Disable other layers to find the bottom of the gorge. Okay, perfect. Now, in order not to count for a long time how many vertices in the mask and not to draw another one from scratch, let's just copy it and paste it onto another layer. Adjust the vertices. Okay, that's all good. Just copy paste one more time. Adjust. Okay, to the last mask. Now you already know how to do it. Great, we did it all right. Now select all masks and show masks in the mask modeler menu. As you can see, all masks are right where they belong. So create a surface. But if we do it now, then this is what we'll end up with. So to prevent this from happening, we need to create a surface from two pieces. That means we should select the first three masks and leave the rest. Create a surface, move it to projection scene two. Now let's see how it looks. Looks perfect. Okay, let's create a second surface. We no longer need these, so I'll delete those. Now guys, we must edit this mask so that it doesn't cover the whole mountain. So we drew it for the front and now we need it at the back of the mountain. Click show masks. Cool, now let's create a surface. And move it to projection scene two. All right, it's done. Now let's create the background. Generate a position and create a plane. Scale it so that it covers the whole image. 
That's all. Now let's see the parts of the projection separately. First plan, second plan, third. Great! Now we can replace projection images. You'll find them in the Tutorial Assets folder. Well guys, looks like we're ready to animate the scene. So let's do it. Minimize so that it not interfere. Okay, that's enough. Let's pre-render. Looks great, but if you notice, the top of the mountain goes down during animation. So, we need to edit the masks a little bit. Like so. Select both layers and create a surface. Move the new one to projection scene 2 and delete the old one. Go back to the main composition and check out the result. Okay, it's all well now. Pre-render again. Perfect. You can actually see that during animation the color of the sky near the mountain slightly changes, but you can mask that spot if you need to, no problem. Alright, well that's all guys. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.